Hey chickens, did you guys know I got my two old people on a couch t-shirt? I know, it's cool, huh? Hey Yeti, did you know I got my two old people on a couch t-shirt? I know, it is nuts balls. Hey guys. It's uh, about 43 degrees out here. It's cold today. There's a little bit of a breeze and it's cold. There's a jet going over right now. The chickens are all out doing their thing. <laughs> They're out in the woods. They're out there right now. <laughs> They're loving it able to get out here in the in the woods and come across and our little drainage ditch is full of water so no matter how much fresh water I give them they'd rather have the drainage ditch but it's clean water came off the hill so whatever whatever they want to do I got my two old people on a couch t-shirt but I had to put my jacket on because uh did I mention it's 43 degrees out here it's a little chilly I think if the breeze wasn't blowing, it wouldn't be as bad, but it is. So Scott and I were out and about uh, a couple days ago. He changed the um, angle of the panels. So I would thought that I would uh, add this, add that into this video so that you guys could see when we, uh, we change it with the Equinox in the fall and in the spring. So he just got time to do it. So he decided to uh, go out and do it. So if you want to stick around and watch it, we'll put it right here. Well, it's March 30th. And uh, if you're a solar panel owner, that means it's time for you to change the angle of your panels to the warm weather setting, which is what I've already done. Went from... Uh, 50 something degrees back to 20. It's 20 and a half degrees right now. So they're pointed more up at the sky. So the travel of the sun goes right along the axis of these panels now, instead of it being above it like it was a few minutes ago. So you really want to keep the sun as close as you can get from into 90 degrees in the panels. A lot of people don't do that. And it's not an absolute necessity. A lot of people they'll set the the panels to their latitude and then they're halfway so they get pretty good sun all the time but we're, we're totally off grid here and we're trying to get the most out of our system that we that we possibly can i change the angle seasonally it's not that high it only takes a few minutes it's just like putting money in the bank so b's out here with me we're out investigating the yard see what's going on I'm looking for a chicken because I'm missing a chicken. And uh, it's been a couple days, so either she got broody and went off to lay on eggs, which I doubt, or something grabbed her. Uh, it gets sickening, but if I'm going to free range, I guess that's uh, par for the course. <laughs> Are you listening to me? So I was just uh, showing, we've got snow left, but it's snow banks from when we plowed. If we didn't have snow banks, it would probably all be gone. The woods out behind me, it's pretty much gone. There may be some spots here and there in the shade, but it's uh, pretty much open, bare ground. It's awesome. And there's a plow of the snow banks there. Pretty much the perimeter of where we plowed but the cool part is that i'm really excited about my garden my garden is not covered in snow just a couple weeks ago it was covered and i said it will never melt it's gonna just stay there forever that's what it feels like anyway <laughs> but yeah it's uh it's doing really good um it's held up not my fencing. Fencing's all down for the most part. Um, but I do notice that I need 
to refresh my dart and my beds, which I knew that anyway, but they have gone down a lot, a lot. So when I made these beds, I didn't have a lot of dirt at the time and I didn't want to spend a lot of money on getting dirt. So um, I made kind of a hugo culture uh, environment underneath my beds. So I filled the first layer underneath with sticks and leaves and um, branches. And uh, actually there was a few logs I might've stuck in there too. I don't know, we've got trees and branches everywhere. So when I was cleaning up stuff, I would just stick it in there and build it up a little bit so that I didn't have to put so much dirt in there. Um, but wow, I just can't believe how much has gone down. That bed was full, full to the brim. That little one there, the square one, that thing was full to the brim last year with uh, peppers, pepper plants, and it was right up to the edge. <sighs> Not anymore. So I'm gonna order some loam to be delivered at some point, but it's gonna be a while. It's gonna be a while before I can get in here and plant anyway. We can't do anything till at least May, probably. Um, and even then I gotta be careful. I've got my little branches, my hoops that I made from branches. Um, I just took little, little branches that I cut around and I slowly bent them so that they'd fit and then I take plastic and go over it. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do this year as far as a greenhouse, I'm not gonna build a greenhouse. Um, I need two by fours and I feel like they're too expensive and I'll just wait. I don't need need a greenhouse right now. Um, I did this last year and it worked. I brought my plants out and I took the plastic off during the day when it was nice and warm. And if it was gonna be okay at night, I would just cover them over and just make sure nothing got to them. But it worked fine last year. I didn't lose anything. Um, so I think I'm gonna do that this year. I just gotta be on top of it as far as knowing what my temps are gonna be. Maple syrup. We haven't boiled any more down. We've got about, uh, I think eight pints, or we had. Um, the nights have been a little bit warm and you need cold nights and warm days in order to get your sap from your trees. So we haven't really been getting much sap. The trees are starting to get little buds on them and I don't know how that works as far as collecting sap from them, if it still tastes good or not. Uh, again, first year doing it, we're still learning. So who knows, but all this has been sitting here for a few days. I'm gonna, gonna redo a review on this cart eventually once I use it a little bit more. I got it when we got stimulated. Uh, I decided I was gonna buy myself something instead of using it to pay bills for everything. I wanted to be able to get a few things for myself. My wheelbarrow is um, pretty much rotted. The arms on it where the front tire goes, is pretty much rotted. And I decided I want one of these, uh, wanted one of these carts. And I got this one from Tractor Supply. Um, and so far I love it. It's got a dump thing on it, which I haven't used much. I did a little bit of firewood with it. That works really good. Uh, it's got great big tires. My granddaughter was here. My son-in-law put it together and my granddaughter loves taking rides in it, of course. Um, <clears throat> but besides that, we really haven't used it enough to know whether um, we really like it. But I mean, I think it's gonna be a lot better than my broken wheelbarrow, that's for sure. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Please like, share, and subscribe if you haven't already. And have a good one. So Eddie and I would like to say thank you, Mark and Debbie from Two Old People on a Couch for the t-shirt. I love it. It's nuts balls and I use it all the time. If you guys haven't checked out Two Old People on a Couch on YouTube, go check out the channel. I'll leave a link down below. I think this is what Mark does <laughs> down in the description. And uh, the chicken I, chickens and I say, do your own research. Check them out. I don't know. Just uh, check them out. They're pretty funny. Even though they're two old people on a couch. It's good. <laughs> it's good. See ya. Definitely nuts balls.